What's up guys, this is FPS Rundown, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to improve your wireless card using Windows 10, or pretty much any Windows device beyond this, because it still should all work the same way. Um, the card I have is from 2006, I think, or at least the last driver update was, so I'm guessing it's pretty old. Um, but this, this should also work with everybody getting a new computer if they have, if they're using Wi-Fi or something like that. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, open your search menu and type in device manager. If you have an Intel card, it's going to look a little different and I'll tell you exactly what to do. But you should see Intel or your wireless card right here. Right click on it and go to properties. Go to advanced. Now for Intel, there's something called roaming aggressiveness somewhere in here. And you want to change it to whatever value it is to the highest. Also. Um, there's another value that you need to change. I can't really remember, but I'll post that in the description, or it'll pop up on the screen. But if you're using another wireless card like I have, uh, Rosewill is what I'm using. It, it might look a little different, depending on your wireless card. But you want to go to Receive Buffers, and I made this any value just to see what the max was, and it's 512. It's 1 to 512. It was previously on, I think, 212 or something in the 200s and if you know receive buffers you want it's like receiving packets same thing as the transmit Hold on, let me change it back to 512 and if you know notice this is a transmit so it's you're receiving and then you're transmitting to the router itself this is all you really have to do too is change the values they're not set to what they really can go to so you just want to up the value to whatever the highest is and on Intel, of course, changing the roaming aggressiveness to high um, to the highest is the best for this. Changing the packets to the highest is the best. Um, if I was going to change this to short only, but you can't really do that. And I will show you a, another way to do this too. If you have your router, let's go ahead and go to the router itself. Open this up and your router's credentials. Now, what you want to go to is what your wireless settings. Uh, in your, your preamble mode, if you can see right here, it was set on long. You want to shorten it so it's in a tighter space, like pretty much your whole house, not beyond that. So it'll pretty much make your internet faster because it's not having to like get that extra or like pushing more of your signals longer to say so other people can pick it up you want to make it short so it's faster if um... another thing i wanted to do real fast let's see why those things one of these you you can change your um... the megabits it's outputting i believe it's in wireless settings yeah right here as you can see it's only outputting 217 when you can't up it to 450 if you have a wireless card like I do that goes to 300 megabytes a second, that's definitely lower than the actual max you can get. So you want to change um, this to 450. And if you, uh, I think we're using 5G, but you can go ahead and change. Same thing applies to. Uh, actually, no, never mind. That's 2.4. Okay, it's down here. So yeah, just simply change that to 450, and that's all you got to do. And then click apply. That's all you gotta do. And I hope this helps you in some way, shape, or form. Hit that like or subscribe button, you know what to do. If this video helps, give it a thumbs up. If it doesn't, you know what to do. Uh, that's it. That's all I want to show you guys in this video, and uh, thanks for watching.